Hey guys, Jay Duran here, CEO of Culture Matters, and I'm here with Howard Spencer, master of the universe, Caldwell Banker, huge real estate company. So Howard, why did you get in real estate? Let's start with that. Let's talk about your story. Uh, my background comes from construction. I built homes for 18 years before getting into real estate, and I actually have a family background in real estate. My grandfather helped Jim Weikert start the Weikert School of Real Estate, wow. and he was an office manager back in the 70s and 80s and in Branchburg, Weikert, New Jersey. My grandmother was an office manager for Flemington, Weikert. My aunt is a realtor. My sister actually owns her own brokerage, Selling Virginia, down in Woodbridge, Virginia. So between my construction background and my family background of uh, real estate, I just thought it was a good transition of knowing homes and then servicing people and selling homes. So it was a family uh, business, it was in the blood but I'm curious, there's a point you know, in your life when you make decisions. What was the lightning strike? Like, oh, I'm gonna get into real estate sales. I mean, a lot of people don't like sales. It's like negative connotation. Yeah, I was never in sales. I, uh, I was a car salesman for two weeks. And uh, yeah. I actually had a woman tell me that I was too nice of a salesman because you know, I wanted to get her a good deal on a car and I wanted to work with her. And you know, people look for that when you're selling a home. They wanna make a connection, like a personal connection, because then they'll spread out the word and other people wanna do business with you. But getting into real estate, um, you know, it, just, it was just working in construction. I was working by myself a lot and I just wanted to get out there and you know, work with more people in different houses and you know, around you know, central New Jersey. Understood, so you, want, did, you wanted to take it to the next level? Yes. In a sense, in, in the real estate business, but to the next level. So how long have you been in the business? I've had my license for three years. I've been doing it full time for a little over two years. Okay, now you've been doing it full time two years. What are the last two years look like and maybe some of the trials and tribulations that you've gone through that other people watching this that may be interested in getting into real estate too, maybe they could learn from some of those things. Some trials and tribulations and then some great outcomes if you could talk about that. Uh, you know, getting into real estate, people think, oh, it's fun, it'll be easy, you know, make a little money. It is fun, but it's hard work. You know, you have to get out there and prospect. And that's the thing about uh, any type of sales, you know, lead generation. I think, was it Gary Keller says, we're not in the business of sales, we're in the business of lead generation? Yeah, I mean, it's funny. Gary well, Keller yeah. says that, uh, I think even Jesus said, follow me. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone yeah. is lead generating, it seems. You know, if you don't have leads, you're not going to have any sales. So I do that every day. You get up and, you know, I wear my Ask Me pin. Yeah, it says, yeah. ask me there. Yeah. What's that mean? It just, you know, ask me how I can help you buy or sell a home. Do you see that as like breaking a lot of ice with people? Yes. And it, it's not, it's actually them, you know, approaching them me. Them approaching, yeah. Yeah. So it's not like me going around saying, hey, I'm in real estate. Hey, yeah. I'm in real estate. Hmm. You know, people ask me, like just walking down the street, they're like, ask me what? I just pull out a card and say, ask me how I can help you buy or sell a home. Hold on. My, so if I wore that at a bar... It's over. That would be all night long. All night long. All night long. All night. <laughs> Dude, you just, I didn't even realize that until right now. Yeah. You're a, friend, like, oh. a friend of mine up in Allentown, uh, Sam Royer, who's actually part of the Homeless for Heroes. Okay. He told me about one of his friends used to do it, and it was ask me about Jesus. I, so we, we turned it into ask me how I can help buy or sell a home. Because a lot of people out there, a lot of agents, they don't even wear their name tag. They're secret agents. No, yeah, no one. I've never seen yeah, One gentleman I was reading a lot about. You ever heard of Jeffrey Gittimer? No. Old school from the South sales uh, guru. He's got a ton of books, like the little red book of selling. And he, one of the big things he talked about was name tags. Yeah. He was more of a, <laughs> you and I aren't really his style. He, he didn't like, I don't even want to say the word. There, it's an ugly word, cold calls. I don't know what a cold oh. call is. I only know it's a hot call. Because when I call, it's hot. When yeah. you call, it's hot. Yeah. So he was opposed to that. So he was all about pull, not push. Yeah. Like you ever try to push a string, you know, it gets all crumpled, yeah. you pull it. So would you say your business, right? I want to like get in the mind of someone that's, I mean, you could brag a little bit. How's the last two years been? Have you been pretty dang good, huh? Uh, you know, the first year is a little slow. You're starting to get off the ground. A lot of people work with buyers. I was kind of have a little bit different trajectory in my first couple of years where I work with mostly sellers. You know, I do expireds, pre-foreclosures, and bank-owned properties. The, the bank-owned, the REOs I've gotten into in the past year, 
um, and it's really picked up. And I actually have asset managers call me personally now to handle properties because, you know, when they assign me a property, I send them an email and say, you know, if it's a new asset manager, I say, you know, thank you for choosing me to you know, help you with your property. Here's a little bit about my background in construction and real estate and everything. And they see value in that. You know, you're providing value and they say, oh, well, you know, he knows contractors. He knows what to look for in a house. He knows, you know, what's wrong. He can handle everything since we're in Texas or Utah. So they're like, okay, you know, that's great. And now, you know, you handle the properties and they just keep sending you more and more. And it just, once you get the ball rolling, you know, that's the hardest part. Like, push, what was it, Atlas? Had to push the stone up yeah, the hill? Yeah, yeah, Atlas. And, you know, getting the ball rolling is the hardest part. Keeping it rolling is a little bit easier. So at this point, you had told me before we filmed that first quarter, you're already at how much volume is going to close? Uh, we'll close, first half of the year, we'll probably close three or four million. Wow. Two years in the business. Now, for those of you at home that may not know this, the average agent get, gets into real estate stops actually performing real estate as a, any kind of career after only 18 months. The first deal that they close, the average agent takes 11 months to get the first deal closed, and the average agent does three to six deals a year. Wow. That's the average. So we're not talking to an average agent here. We're talking to someone that's obviously doing something right. So my goal in this video is to introduce Howard, obviously, but kind of get in your head because he doesn't even know this. You could look at his face. He didn't even know this stat, did you? No. I was, like, You're my, just making it happen. My mind goes, like somebody asked me one time, they're like, is all you think about is lead generation? I said, yes. From the time I get up to the time I go to bed, my mind is just going with different ideas. Like you're driving down the street, like I were to ask me pin or, you know, you're just introducing to different people, the bank owned properties, um, the expires, the pre foreclosures, um, you USAA is partnered up with Cobalt Banker. We have a special program. We could do lead generation with that, um, targeting veterans or USAA people, uh, the Homes for Heroes, their teachers, firefighters, nurses. I mean, there's, there's a million different ways you can reach out to people. So you know, day I one, you're in real I estate. Have, I don't have time for every, I can't do everything. You know, like you said, like the cold calling, circle prospecting. A cold what? Just hot call, what? <laughs> hot calls. Hot calls, Those he hot says. Hot leads. Hot leads. Yeah. <laughs> so you're the first month in the business, and this is really the biggest takeaway. What should you do as a new agent? You're the first month in the business. If you want to be as successful as you, you're doing. Top three things, takeaways for the audience. Make calls. Don't be scared. I guess just reach out to people. You know, your sphere of influence. You know, start talking to them. I wrote up a letter and uh, sent it out to all my parents, friends, all our relatives, everybody, and I put two cards in it. I you know, introduced myself, said, hey, you know, I've been working in construction for so long. I worked for my dad, mm -hmm. so it was a family yeah. business. And you know, I've decided to transition into real estate. Here's a card for you, and if you don't mind, please pass one on to a friend or family member that you might know that's you know, buying or selling a home. So that was like one of the first things I did. And that's what I tell people that get into business. And because they're always saying, oh, reach out to your sphere because that's people you know and that's people you're comfortable with. And, you know, I tell people, I'm like, I, I give them my letter. I said, look, this is the letter I sent out. Just change a couple things on it, put two cards in it, send it out to everybody you know. And that's the other thing. Like people, I'm like, think about how many people you know. Like you're friends with probably close to 5,000 people on Facebook. Yeah. That's 5,000 people. How many people live in Philadelphia alone? Hundreds of thousands, right? Million. Like, I think I it's 1.3 million. Jeez, 1. I don't even know million. that. And it's growing. And that's, that's just Philadelphia. There's more people you don't know than you do know. So you need to reach out to the people you don't know. So reach out to the people you don't know. Don't wait for business to come to you. Go to it. What else? Don't be afraid of the phone. Don't that's, be a little... I, I'm, a, I'm a phone person. And, you know... There's, uh, you know, George Oberdoster down in Florida. Uh -huh. He's the same way. You know, he's, he's on the phones. And every time I post about being on the phones and, you know, my, my regional manager loves it. My broker, Hal, he loves it, you know, because I'm reaching out to people. I'm not just sitting in office waiting for the phone to ring. I'm like people sitting on desk duty or uptime or whatever you want to yeah, call it. Yeah, whatever you call it. I always walk by. I'm like, hey, you know, the phone works both ways. I remember you told me that. And they kind of look at me. I'm like, pick it up. Start calling out. Yes, there will be calls that come in, 
not as much as it was, you know, back in the 80s. You know, when there was no internet and people, there was no Zillow, Realtor, Trulia, and all that. When you're riding down the road, you saw a sign, you had to call the office. Yep. And people on desk time, and people used to fight over desk time. But now, you know, people can just call the agents directly or they look it up on their app on Zillow or something like that. So when you're sitting there on desk time, start making outgoing calls. And biggest tip, how do you get good at the telephone? Practice. Practice, outgoing calls, make the calls. I mean, how did Michael Jordan get good? I can't dribble. I don't play basketball. <laughs> you practice every day. Practice every day. Yeah. Howard, you're the man. This is Jay Duran, CEO of Culture Matters. Howard Spencer, top performing agent, future mega agent, call banker. You guys have a great day.